Okay, and so now we're going to set the material that each of these things is made out of. We want the truck base plate and the truck hanger. We'll select them both, so we'll just click each of them, and they'll both light up. The truck base plate and the truck hanger, see how they're both selected and they both lit up over here? The bushing did not light up. Uh, we're going to make those aluminum 356. And so what we need to do is base plate and hanger. We right click, we edit, or the ass we assign the material. And aluminum 365 or 356, whatever it is. There it is. And we click it. That's going to assign some properties to that material so that if someone else was looking at this, they would, like we would be able to find out how much all this is going to weigh and all that. So our truck hanger would be like 0.279 pounds. Our truck base plate and hanger together would be 0.553 pounds if they were made out of that material. If we selected a different material, these numbers would be different because it would be uh, different materials have different weights. And then with that, we also need to do the same for the bushing, but we need to make it polyurethane. So uh, again, I'm gonna select the base plate and the hanger. Uh, edit material, I keep forgetting to click the green check mark. I just wanted to make sure I did, and I did. So I'm gonna deselect them. I'm gonna select the bushing, assign a material, and this time, we want to make it polyurethane. There's polyurethane. And so again, it will give that some, some properties and we will be able to like measure its weight and all that kind of stuff virtually um, based on those properties. So now we can measure the mass of all three parts of the truck together. If we were to click all three parts, base plate, hanger, bushing, click over here. It'll tell us all that together weighs 0.56 pounds if this was to be made in real life. That's pretty awesome. I hope you're having fun with this, and I hope you have an awesome day. That's the end of section two.